Grand Rising family, welcome to your daily True Love Journey message. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit late today. I had uh, a dentist appointment this morning and then I had a client right after that. So here we are. All right, family, let's get started here. Let's get, these are the, the decks that I was guided to for the Aquarius reading. And I always tend to, you know, it uh, flows into the collective reading as well. So again, Pluto is moving into Aquarius tomorrow. Can you feel the shift? I know I can. All right, let's go. Uh, Mercury, we're in Mercury's shadow period right now as well. So um, Mercury's going retrograde on the 26th, okay? And then, of course, this same week, uh, November 21st, this, this actual week, uh, the sun is moving into Sagittarius, so we're coming out of Scorpio season. So let's go. Let's get the message here. Let's get the energy. I already said my prayer for the divine masculine. We're going to get an angel number of the divine masculine and an abundance message from the abundant uh, angels. All right. Let's see. What is the angel number of the divine masculine? We we'll split the deck. We have five, five, five family change. Woo. <laughs> You're going to level up. It might not feel good initially. But it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good. That is why you've been, that is the why you've been looking for. Push through it. There's a reward waiting at the finish line, going through changes right now. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, sending decks, scheduling your readings with me. My next available is on the 25th, actually. Um... Yes, uh, the 25th in the morning, okay, is the only time I have available right now, not in the afternoon, uh, central time. All right, so let's see. Thank you so much, family, for commenting below. I love you guys. It really does help so much. All right, let's go for the Divine Masculine. What's the angel number for the Divine Masculine here? Spirit. What's the angel number? One, four, one, four, light up. Focus on your needs, desires, and hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You'll be blessed with new opportunities, a new friend, or an addition to your family. Good vibes will speed up the process. So let light it light, lighten up, right? Um, find the humor, <laughs> raise your vibration. Okay. Focus on listening to what you give yourself, what you need. Listen to your body, tune in. Okay. Every, you know, focus on gratitude on the lighter side of things. Okay. The silver lining. Okay. Uh, look, look at that. Look for that is what I just heard. Uh, again, there could be some mood swings here. Okay. All right, so we have, and then there's good luck coming in for this divine masculine, 777. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that may come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. All right, so let's see here for the divine feminine. We have 1717 drama alert. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Take a few deep breaths and focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options. At this time, you must rely solely on yourself. You may not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. What appears to be a, a, a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process. So a drama alert here. <laughs> so independence, a soul mission, alone time, learning, healing, and aspirations. What else is the divine feminine? 1717. So can you feel a shift? I know I can. What other angel number here for the divine feminine at this time, angels and spirit guides? Oh, we got new beginnings here and act on your idea and reflect. 666. Ooh, karma. So again, there is a huge Saturn has gone direct as well. And there's a message about you're about to be rewarded. Okay. Karma. Saturn is the planet of karma. 
Okay. And it's going direct, which means you have learned some lessons. Okay. You have closed out some cycles. You've worked really hard during this retrograde period. And now you're getting good. All that you put out, all your hard work, it's coming back to you. Okay. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary or material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. Very strong message about that, right? This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice, pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. So, and these two jumped. So let's take a look at them. These two jumped here. So we have zero two, two zero act on your idea. You have the benefit of good fortune. And if you, and if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern. Since, since what you plant will grow, you should act on your potential when you see this pattern, since what you plant will grow. You're about to experience a spectacular ascent. Ooh, we, we have new beginning fam. Here it is. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major in your life. I, I just said that right with the karma card. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. This is exciting. We love that. Let's get an abundance message. And then we'll get um, we'll get a message from the wisdom of the oracle here. Uh, should I do it before or after, Spirit? Spirit will let me know. I'm going to do it before. Because we're still going to pull some monology as well. All right. What is the abundance message for the divine masculine? Angels and spirit guides. A raise or a promotion is coming for this divine masculine. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So again, they're going to experience some good luck. Here's 777. This is a message... Is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You come out winning and everything and everything that may come, you will come out winning from everything that may come your way. You have reached, it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share. So there's a lucky time. They're getting a brace or a promotion. They're going through a change right now. So they're being guided to lighten up. Okay. Dreams of abundance at the bottom of the deck. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into your reality. All right, split the deck here. Donations, charitable work. Okay, what is the abundance message for the divine feminine spirit, please, at this time? What is the abundance message for the divine feminine? We got two savings and successful funding and the power of prayer. So uh, you guys, uh, you know, are very serious about your prayers, okay? When you ask spirit and the divine for help here, okay? Give this situation to God. Gosh, everything I pray for comes to fruition for me, fam. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. Open up to receive. The second you pray, know that it the mountains will be moved. Okay? Mountains will be moved. We have successful funding and savings here. As you consistently say for your future, your future is saved. You you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self 
care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. And then we have successful funding here. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money. Oh, wow. Act on your idea right here. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. Okay. That's for some, that's the answer to this prayer. Okay. The divine is sending you help here for funding. Okay. For on your idea. So there is some kind of help resource, earth angels, partnerships coming in. That's going to help you. And that's connected to your karma, to what you're meant to receive at this time. It's also kind of linked and connected to your new beginning here. Okay. Very powerful message about this for you, divine feminine. A lot of money is coming your way. That's connected to this idea. Stay focused here. Don't let any kind of drama. Okay. Um, make you lose, uh, your focus on, on, on your path here that you're on. Okay. So take a few deep breaths and focus inward. Okay. You need time to think things over and consider your options at this time. So take heed to these messages. You must rely solely on yourself right now. You might not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. What appears to be a low in activity is just an, that's when it's time for you to reflect, for you to go within. That's when it's a time that if you're taking steps in your life, one step at a time, one day at a time, right? So if you're taking these steps, these guided steps, right? As I always say, allow your intuition to light up the way for you one day at a time, one step at a time, focus on the next one to two steps. If the next step doesn't open up for you, when you take that step, then you're meant to take a pause to integrate, rest, reflect, and then the next step will be available to you when the timing is right. Okay. We're flowing. So, all right, let's see here with the divine masculine it's energy at this time. Divine masculine. Well, here, the six of swords. Fire pony energy here. Taking a leap of faith, okay? Taking a leap of faith, having a new beginning. Didn't we see that? Going through a major change from the divine king of wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. This is just somebody that is embodying fire energy, solar plexus energy, leadership energy, action, taking initiative, taking control, stepping up, standing up, facing their fears, having courage, Okay. Um, somebody that's coming out of woe is me sitting in a puddle of self pity here, uh, focusing so much on what they don't have of the past of all the things that they lost. That's keeping this person stuck in their life. Okay. This is the light up, right? Focus on your needs and desires and hobbies. Everything is more accessible to you with the light attitude. Come out of the blues here. Okay. Come out of feeling blue and lower vibrational energy. Tell me more here for this divine masculine's energy for today. Six of cups, nostalgia, missing, having memories of the past, right? Childhood memories even for some. Some of them may have children. Okay, yeah, they're they're healing their heart here. They're coming out of a period of healing, it's looking like, okay? And wanting to resurrect, wanting to, you know, make their presence known here, okay? And uh, king of wands energy a return, right? Wanting to return. Okay. Is what I'm getting missing, having a stop feeling the pull, the holding the wand, the magnetic pull, the heart is whole here in this image, meaning that it's, it's been healing. It's healed. Okay. What else for this divine masculine? Yeah. Going through a change, the winds of changes here, needing to balance out life's priorities, and responsibilities, what takes precedence in this person's life, the word of the day, right? What's important, right? Honor and treasure and cherish your relationships that matter to you, that are important to you, right? Where was it that we saw here in this karma card, right? Uh, treasure your relationships, right? 
If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. So this is in your energy here. This person here hasn't been appreciating, you know, cherishing and treasuring the important relationships in their life. They have been putting it on the back burner. They have been, you know, um, saving it for later, right? And, uh, and, and thinking that it's always going to be there, right? They have been uh, leaving it for last. The last thing on their mind, saving it for last, right? Um, they have been not really... Let me continue. Clarify this King of Wands. This, they, I don't know why I heard Spirit say this person's about to fuck around and find out. I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> What's going on here, Spirit? King of Wands. They're about to really know what it's like to miss somebody here. King of Wands. Yeah, they're feeling the, the pull. This is Cupid's arrow, the momentum. They're feeling the pull here, the arrows of love. Somebody here is done going in and out, up and down, all around, uh, in, 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 you know, in with somebody here, okay? The juggler here, right? Um, yeah, right here, needing to make a decision, options between more than one person here, okay? Somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving on here. Eight of wands, clarify the eight of wands. Yep making, watching from a distance, making plans to hop on the momentum, to hop on the wave. Okay. This is what I'm getting. Three of wands is something coming in a storm, the wave, riding the wave. This person's getting ready to ride the wave. Okay. Yeah. This person's going back and forth here in their life way too much, playing around too much with people. Okay. In their energy, taking their time, taking their time, thinking that the time is 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 you know it, it, it time is 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 so precious, right? It's too precious to waste. But this person doesn't see it that way, you know. They see it like they have so much time. It feels like their time is up. Six of cups, so they're getting ready to take action here. Whoa, six of cups is their twin flame. The flame is, is, is on the flame is lit, right? The flames of passion ignite here. Okay. This person is in their head about this. Okay. They're in their head about taking this action. They're getting ready to take action. Look, they're feeling feelings of love. Their heart is guiding them. Their intuition is guiding them. They want to make a gesture. Okay. They want to express themselves here. But it's a page, so they, they don't know how to express themselves, their feelings. They're feeling feelings of love in their heart. They're feeling feelings of love in their heart, okay? That's guiding them towards this change. The Their uh, psychic intuition, creative energy here. Okay, tell me more. They need to get out of their head and stop controlling everything and overthinking and just go with the flow. Clarify this page of cups. Yeah, Wow. Wow, look at that. The magician wants to creep up here and the lover's there, okay? Yeah, this person is in love. There's, this person is in love, okay? The magician wants to come out. So this is a manifestation. It's time for action. That's what it is. Look at that. They can't stop thinking about you. They have an important decision to make. They're stuck in their head. They can't move on or forward. They can't let go, okay? Obsessive thoughts, but also outdated thinking, limitations, conditioning, programming, stuck by their traumas here. Yeah, their comfort zone, this comfort zone person here, okay? Feeling hurt, feeling pain. Their heart here is healing. Yeah, wow. My gosh, somebody here is being heavily activated here. Their heart is opening. Their heart is opening and that's what's guiding this person. That's what's leading the way here, okay? This this two of, of pentacles is telling me there's a lot of water in the background, okay? It's telling me here that there's ups and downs with this person's extremes and their emotions. They're trying to balance out their emotions, it feels like, and temper themselves. They're trying to... Um, Make a decision, right? There's a highs and lows of, of their emotion. Sometimes it's overwhelming, okay? And the, it's like the water goes up and down like this. 
Okay, with when it comes to this connection, look, this is somebody's wish. I wanted to stay behind. Complete and total emotional fulfillment here. This is a manifestation, okay? That somebody just can't resist anymore is what I'm getting. They're getting ready to take some serious action here, okay? Get ready for life to start speeding up. Major change, 555. Five, five. So get ready for life to start speeding up, for things to start to change. There's a major shift that's taking place right now. Expect powerful change. Tell me here about this king... King of uh, clarify this King of Wands. What's the message for this King of Wands? What is this the energy here in this King of Wands? Yeah, their heart is opening. Okay, it's a overwhelming, overflowing feelings of love. It's like they they it's the same message as the last reading. They can't fight. They can't control it. They can't. It's it's like it has a mind of its own. <laughs> it's growing out of control. It keeps growing. King of Wands. Adjustments are required. Adjustments are being made right now. Okay. When it comes to reciprocity, right? Take time to breathe out. There's an ending of a cycle. This person needs to work on feeling good enough. The self sabotager. We saw the Five of Swords. What else for this? <laughs> yeah. Their dream. Full Moon and Taurus was huge for this person. There's st it's still in this person's energy, okay? When it comes to going after their dreams, grounding their dreams, okay? There's a new start, a change. Luck is turning around for this person here. They're being guided to take the action steps to step into their creative power, their personal power, and take action steps to create in their life so that they can manifest their wish. This is a card of action. As above, so below. As within, so without. Okay, they're being guided to take action practical steps, practical, may create a practical plan towards having their new life. They need to release whatever the fuck they need to release, whatever they need to release here. Okay. Their comfort zone. Okay. Come out of their comfort zone here so that they can, uh, claim their wish, their dream, their dream life that they want. Okay. Whoever this is, it, it could be you that I'm talking to. Um, so they're again, right. They're waiting for the right time. To hop on this wave, adjustments are required here. That's what I feel this Two of Pentacles is talking about. So again, they have big dreams, this person, with their having uh, foresight here with the Three of Wands, making plans. They have big dreams, right? And it feels like you're a part of their dreams, the Queen of, Queen of Wands, okay? You're a part of this person's dreams. And um, there's a new start. But again, there's stuff that this person got to release, okay? Uh, still. They still got to release some things here to free up the energy, to clean up the energy so that they, they can, can come forward and open up and give you this offer. Okay. They're just now, it feels like they're just now waking up to the, to these feelings that they have, this in love feelings that they have. Okay. Uh, it looks like that's what it's looking like. It's looking like that. They're just now opening up to it, waking up to it. And um, surrendering to it is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person has a huge decision to make. There's, there's, there's a situation here that this person needs to release. That's slowing them down and keeping them stuck. Okay. We know about that, right? So they're in the process of, you know, being guided out of their comfort zone here, okay? Um, with this situation. All right, so let's see for the Divine Feminine. I am going to pull a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle for them as well. Maybe I should do that right now. What's the message for this Divine Masculine? In case you guys just want to watch the part of the Divine Masculine. What's the message for the Divine Masculine? Yeah, they're going through a regeneration, a rebirth. <sighs> Orphaned, new life, holy, orphan. This is loss, emotional loss, abandoned, abandonment. Okay, unfinished symphony. Something isn't over. Something isn't finished for them. They got to get, they got, this is what they got to release. Okay, some kind of closure that this person needs. Conclusions here. 
Look, the energy is gaining momentum. That's this eight of wands and the three of wands. Something is happening. Something is speeding up here, okay? Look, good luck. Luck is on this person's side for them. If they hop on this wave, if they hop on this momentum and they take this action, it's going to be good for them, okay? Because this, this, they're going to get to their wish here. If they take this action that they're guided to take here from their heart, they're going to get to this wish. This is a manifestation that it's a co-creating kind of law of attraction says you got to take the action. Okay. Life is one big moving prayer. You got to take the action, right? So that you can get, you got to hop, hop on the momentum here. Okay. So you can get to your new life. It's time to release this abandonment wounds, rejection wounds, the whatever is unfinished, leave it in the past, a superficial life. Okay. Leave it in the past. Okay, uh, so that you can surrender to fate, be open to what fate has planned for you. Okay, so this person here, orphaned, and you, they have a new life, a new beginning here with an open heart that wants to manifest for them. But they got to claim it, they got to take action, they got to be bold and make the first move. The universe will catch you, meet you, and match you. Got to take the steps towards your dreams. You can't just daydream about it and expect for it to just, you know, sh sh fall from the sky. That's not how that works. You know? So, all right, let's, uh, let's get to the divine feminine's energy here. Orphaned. This person needs to let go of what they need to let go of so they can turn their back on the past and open themselves up to their new life, to their new beginning here, Okay to true love. This person is about to miss out. It's important that you cherish the people that you have in your life. Okay. That's what it's important. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. That's what people don't understand. The time is precious. It's way too precious to waste. Let's see the divine feminine success for the divine feminine victory and success here. Okay. Act on your ideas. Remember you have uh, good karma coming your way rewards. Saturn is direct. We're in Mercury's shadow period right now. Okay. So be conscious of miscommunication with people as well. Okay. Be conscious of that at this time. All right, one last shuffle for the Divine Feminine. Yesterday, the reading, because Mercury is Mercury right now. Uh, yesterday, the reading took, was it yesterday? I don't know. The la the weekend reading took, the I, I did it early in the morning, and it didn't go on, load until I got home from work. Like, all day. I hope that that doesn't happen today. Uh, it's, gonna, it's going to upload in perfect Divine order and timing. Show me, Spirit, the Divine Feminine, please, for today. Ten of Pentacles, woo! Big money, holy Nine of Cups. Let's talk about this money here, Divine Feminine. Look at this. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary, more than just monetary emotional satisfaction as well. Emotional freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom. More than the material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Take your ideas, okay? And, and take action on your ideas here. Yeah, you're leaving, but you're going, moving towards triumph and success. You're leaving some kind of um, um, lack situation behind. Okay, look at this golden opportunity coming your way. This could be the seed that you're being asked to plant. Okay. Yeah. What else is the divine feminine? We have here two of swords needed to make a decision, an important decision. It could be at a crossroads or somebody in your energy is. It feels like um, reshift your focus. Okay, focus on what you do desire. 
act on your ideas. There's a decision here that you're being guided to make. Okay. Clarify. I saw, I saw the page of, of wands. That's good news coming your way or you being guided to take action on your idea here. 10 of pentacles. Clarify that for the divine feminine. Your energy is, has been incredible lately. If you're the divine feminine watching this 10 of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Open up to receive equal give and receive. Here it comes. Okay, the pathway is opening up for you. Okay, take the steps. Come out of your comfort zone. Give and receive an equal measure. Reciprocity balance here. What else here for the Ten of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine? What else? We have, yeah, because your, your discernment is so strong. Okay, You're taking a leap of faith on your ideas. Okay, you have brilliant ideas here. Brilliant ideas. You have the benefit of a good fortune. And if you use your wise judgment, queen of swords, okay, you can do anything in this place. You can reach new heights, new heights. You can reach new heights. Look at what you're manifesting for yourself. Look, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe, okay? You can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern. Since act on it, taking leap of faith here with the fool. Since what you plant, we saw that big pentacle. Since what you plant, this is a culmination here, 10 of pentacles. Okay. We'll continue your energy will grow. You're about to experience spectacular ascent here. Okay. You're man of taking a leap of faith. You're manifesting 10 of cups. This is you using your wisdom, your experience, your knowledge. You've been through a lot. You learn from the past. This is you speaking prayer through prayer, through words, through intentions, your conviction onto the universe, right? What you want. Okay. Nine of cups. Yeah. Crossroads energy here. Okay. Uh, you're, you're being guided through your intuition, through your, what feels good, which way is the way that's going to lead me closer to my divine life purpose here. Okay. The path is opening up. Uh, there's a wish coming in here. Okay. Uh, you've been very patient. You've been healing. You've been aligning. And this is the going with the flow, going with the flow. Again, when you take the path, we talked about this earlier right? Allow for the next step to light the, you know, your intuition will light up the way for you. Your angels is guiding you. Your strength will assure you you're stronger than you think you are. And your strength and your patience, your endurance will, will assure you a happy outcome. Okay. Divine timing is here for you. Your strength, Leo energy, Sagittarius fire energy here. Uh, can I have one more on this nine of cups? Yeah, you're ending a cycle. You're transforming. This is your rebirth. This is your new life. Okay. Something is changing. Something is transforming here. There's a, this is a rebirth energy. You're not backing down on what you want for yourself in love and in your career. You're asking for what you want. You're asking for your worth, your value, what you need. Okay. You're not backing down from it. You want stability, ten of pentacles. You want emotional fulfillment. Your needs to be met. You want security, stability, companionship, partnership. Okay. Uh, that's what you, this stability, security, something that a windfall of abundance here coming to you. Clarify the two of swords. Yeah, there's some conf you conflicted. Okay. Uh, there's something here that you're conflicted about, but you're going to get the answer. She's very clear. You're not arguing with people. You're blocking the drama outlook, drama alert, right? Focus inward. When you close your eyes, when you can't see something or you're indecisive about some, close your eyes and pray for the answers to come to you. Okay. Ask for guidance, ask for the way forward, ask for clarity and you, your angels will give it to you in meditation. When you, when you're not looking, it'll come to you. The solution will come to you. It will come to you. Queen of swords. Okay. So there's some, some, there's something that you're being asked to block out of your life here. Okay. Take a few deep drama alert, take a few deep breaths and focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options. I feel like you're going to do that right? It's requiring for you to have strength right now to, to overcome these challenges, to persevere through these challenges, to believe in yourself. Okay. To have confidence at this time, you must rely solely on yourself and your angels, right? Is going to help you. Okay. You may not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. Yes, you are. There's something you're ending. Okay. In your life, 
that you're putting an end to here, that's putting you on a new new path. You, you're you going in a new direction here in your life, but it's, you're going towards your wish. You're saying no thank you to whatever this is, five of wands, this drama, this conflict, okay? You're thinking thoroughly about it, and um, and you're moving in a clarify five of wands. Yeah, think about it. Reflect, okay? Reflect right here. Reflect. Go within here. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is the chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. We saw the, the strength card. Put your faith in your gut and your inner voice. You're being guided from within. Ask your angels. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you to become a better person. Yes, doing some shadow work right now, okay? You have a new beginning coming in. This is the goal, the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're speaking into your existence, you're praying about. When help comes your way, be open to receiving it, okay? If you're praying for help and support, it's coming your way. You're being guided towards ninth, Nine Cups, but there's something you're going to have to end and release and close out and leave behind to get to your Ninth Cup, Okay? When you accept and release, everything's going to transform. Take time to go within. Yeah, this energy right here could be coming could be coming up for you. If you're on ground, you'll be getting psychic attacks and spiritual attacks. Okay? Take time to go within and ground your energy. Very important at this time to pray about it, to rest, to meditate, to reflect, okay? And that the answers that you seek will come. All right, let's get a guidance here for the Divine Feminine. Confidence is you. We saw that. We saw that, right? Uh, strength card. We saw that strength card more than once. Okay, confidence is your key here. We're being certain when what you are, what you believe in, when you believe in yourself, what you say, confidence in you putting your ideas into action, you speaking your truth, okay, speaking with confidence toward to God, source the universe out loud to the people in your life, okay, being confident in your dreams, confidence is the key to everything here, okay, trust and have faith and believe in yourself, uh, Leo energy there, and then we have, there is a fiery climax that's approaching for you, drama alert, okay, there's a challenge that's coming up. There's the tides here. Nothing's yet set in stone. Things are still changing. So be flexible, be adaptable, and be open here, okay? There is a fiery climax coming up here for you, but it's gonna, it's leading you to this ending, to this change, to this release, to the it's leading you, it's aligning you to your wish. So trust what comes what falls, what crashes, and what stays. And keep following your guidance and your intuition here one day at a time. There's a shift taking place right now. Saturn just went, there's a sh planetary shift. Saturn just went direct, okay? Pluto is moving into Aquarius tomorrow and we're in Mercury retrograde shadow period. Right now, it's time to surrender. It's time to surrender, to let go, to trust, to have faith. Okay, if things are slowing down, if you don't see the path opening up for you, that's because you're being asked to take a pause, okay, to, um, you're being asked to, to be in stillness for, you know, until the next step opens up and becomes available to you, okay? Right now, it's time for you to, to take a deep breath and focus inward. So uh, take heed to these messages, fam, okay? And uh, let's get you a message from this uh, wisdom of the Oracle for the divine feminine Yang energy, masculine energy here. And then we have deep knowing Tr your deep knowing, trust your deep knowing and, and you'll know when it's time to act masculine energy is energy of action. Okay. You'll know when it's time to act your, your deep knowing your inner knowing, trust yourself. Okay. With confidence here, blessings are coming into your life right now. Stay open to receiving. There's a balance that's taking place of the yin and the yang here. Okay. All right. Now you're being guided to, you know, um, to go within, to listen to your inner knowing when the time comes for you to act, you're going to act, okay, on your ideas, okay? So you'll know when that when that time comes. I'm going to leave it right here. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you. Namaste. Much love. Mm -hmm.